Good Sunday, everyone. I am working on this week's episode of the Blog Oklahoma podcast, and I'm hoping to have it out this afternoon. Sorry about being gone. Some things happened over the last few weeks, including coming down with a really bad sinus headache that left me on the couch, but all good now. So far, this week's topic has yet to be determined, but I am working on all the other littler parts of the podcast, and I'm going to get those recorded real soon. Behind me here in the home office, I moved things around a little bit. There's the TV on the other wall. Closed off the windows. Nice and bright sunny day today. The latest addition to the uh, home office is it's a day bed. We put that together yesterday. Needed some extra sleeping space for when people come over. It happened very often, but they usually spend the night on the couch downstairs. And we thought it would be nicer if they could sleep in a nice comfortable bed in the quiet. (laughs) If you head on over to uh, my personal Instagram at Program Witch, you can see a short video of the mattress that we bought. It came in a box. Uh, The mattress was vacuum sealed and rolled up. It was kind of neat. When we popped the seal on it, the uh, mattress inflated itself. This isn't one of those foam mattresses. This is actually a spring, uh, a nice spring twin mattress, and it's actually kind of comfortable. See, I've got the uh, recording equipment out, uh, got the laptop already, my big glass of tea, and uh, I got myself a new, got a brand new uh, iPhone uh, 6S Plus, it's a nice big phone, I'm really liking it, I'm recording this on my old, and I'm now using my old phone, which I'm recording with right now, my iPhone 5C, as my little backup uh, iPod. Go get me a case for this. Um, I found it, uh, even though this phone's actually a little thinner than the 5C, and I found it hard to grip. It's got a uh, rounded edge to it, and it was actually, you know, when you hold it kind of like this, it was uh, a little slippery. So I got this little rubberized case. It's more like a bumper case. There is no face to it. It does have a plastic back, so I can actually see the nice gold. The nice gold color of uh, the iPhone 6S Plus. So I'm I'm actually really, really liking it now. Seriously, it's really nice having a phone that I don't squash in my hands. As you can see, I got really big hands. <laughs> I'm going to finish up some things. I think I'm going to record uh, the uh, little segments of the podcast now, and I'll finish up the rest later tonight. Back. <laughs> took a little while to come up with the idea to write. I had to go through my notes and pick a topic. Uh, this week's episode is going to be my favorite Android apps. If you remember back, I did an episode on my favorite iPhone apps, and you're going to find that uh, a lot of those apps are cross-platform, so I'm putting a new list together. Uh, I'm actually working on the show notes right now, and here's the list, if it'll focus. There it goes! Yeah, sometimes you just can't take a picture of a screen without it doing all that uh, wavy line stuff. <laughs> so there's the list. The first app I'm going to talk about is Nova Launcher. Um, it's just one of the many launchers that are available, and so far it's been the best for me. I want to talk about Nuzzle, a uh, news aggregator, a Player FM, a podcasting aggregator, Comixology, a uh, comic book reader. Flipboard, another news aggregator, but in a more magazine-style format. Uh, A widget called Calendar Widget Month Plus Agenda. Really like that. Widget, uh, sorry, the uh, app Spotify for, sorry about that, Uh, Spotify, uh, a great music service and a decent app on there. It's one of my favorite music apps on the Android tablet. And finally, Google Keep. It's a simple note-taking app that I really like. Uh, uh, it's cross-platform, and you just use it for notes. So this is the calendar widget that I like. Um, it's just a simple calendar widget. <laughs> That's all it does. I really like that one. And then use a Nova Launcher. It has a nice, smooth uh, paging. Um, has a lot of great options, and uh, just a great launch. Google keeps so much, I have it right down there on my home row. And... Uh, I just searched for something, apparently. What did I search for? Don't you just love it when you have trouble saying the word Google or any combination of Google something, and it all of a sudden starts searching? 
Okay, Google. Blog Oklahoma. Finally, searching for something good. <laughs> oh, I gotta get this finished recording and get out of the sunlight there. So I'll have this up pretty soon. I gotta remember to turn my phones off so they quit making noise. This is my mixing board, a Behringer Zenix 802 mixing board. Let's me do two microphones at a time. It's really nice and been reliable. My MXL 990 microphone. I've had this one for a few years. I really like it. It's been the workhorse of the podcast. This is my Behringer U-Control UCA202. It is the audio USB interface between the mixing board and my laptop. Uh, this is my Dell laptop running Windows 10. I type up the show notes using Markdown Pad 2 and write it up in Markdown. I record everything using the free program called Audacity. I've been using this program for years. Uh, it just works. <laughs> well, that's enough for me for the moment. I need to record one more segment and then I can put the final mix in place and hopefully get it published within the next two hours. on about some of these apps but uh, they are there are some good ones and remember a lot of these are cross platform so you'll be able to find them in other apps now oh, yay <laughs> so let's uh, get an episode out that I've been promising for some time here's a list of some of my favorite and finally the latest episode of the blog Oklahoma podcast episode number 26 is now published at blogoklahoma.net Hope you enjoy this episode, and uh, it was a lot of fun to put together, even though it's a very long night so far. It is way past 7 (laughs) o'clock. And it appears Snapchat wants to cut off the very beginning of the recording. I don't know what's up with that. Oh well, latest episode's up. Yay! And please, let me know what your favorite Android apps are. I'd love to hear from you today. You can get a hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just hit blogoklahoma.net. That's going to do it for me tonight. I have dinner waiting for me downstairs, and I better get there before it gets cold. (laughs) Donna doesn't like it when I'm late for dinner. As always, thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast.